Hello, my name is Ian. I'm a professional independent content creator. I make videos for a living and everything I need to shoot fits inside this tiny bag. Today I'm going to share with you what's inside my camera bag. The bag itself is the Tenba Cooper 8. I've had this bag for quite a while now and in that time I've gotten numerous bags to test and fully review. After tens, maybe even a hundred bags since, I still use the Cooper 8. I love the design and construction of the bag. The wax canvas and leather make it weather resistant and give it just the right amount of style. On the side attachment points I have a battery holder and an SD card holder, both from Tenba. These are great being on the outside of the bag for quick and easy access. I don't have to rummage through the inside of the bag. The SD card holder is especially great because it has two color coded compartments, green for empty, red for used. On the back of the bag is a padded compartment where I like to keep my iPad mini or Kindle when traveling on a plane. Inside this front zipper compartment, I keep three band-aids. Attached to the grab handle is my 3LT tools. I love this tiny guy as it has an Allen key for most tripod screws, a flathead for attachment plates, and a bottle opener because, you know, why not? Going inside the bag, I keep my Medfrotto Pixie tripod with the smartphone clamp attached. I love this tiny tripod as it further stabilizes video as a makeshift steady cam, it's a selfie stick when you need to, and it's better than a gorilla pod as I don't have to make sure the legs are just right to stand on its own. The Pixie is always sure footed no matter where I set it. On the inside front zipper compartment, I have a Zebra F701 pen, a mic cable, and a backup Joby smartphone tripod mount attached to an Arca Swiss plate. Inside the security flap, I have my Rode Video Micro. I prefer this tiny mic as it doesn't need a battery. I do plan on getting the Video Mic Pro Plus soon enough though. My current camera of choice is the Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II, paired with my current lens of choice, the Olympus 12-40 f2.8. I have the Olympus ECG2 attached and this gives me a perfect grip, without any added buttons. And more notably, there's the Arco Swiss rail which makes my life so much easier as I can simply slide the camera onto my monopod or tripod. I have a couple of Peak Designs new tethers on here so I can use their new leash. Stay tuned for a full review on that soon. Since I don't like to use lens caps, I keep my Declan Square in here to keep front elements clean. It's a good looking microfiber towel which isn't blue or yellow. My other lens is the Panasonic 7-14 f4. It's okay for interior shots and vlogs, but I do wish I would have sprung for an f2.8 model for shooting in low light. This lens took a pretty hard hit on a wooden floor from 5 feet because I didn't properly attach the rail to my monopod. The hood cracked, but everything functioned just fine. With the superficial damage, I pretty much ruined my chances of selling this used, so I went ahead and just put a bandaid on it for cute points. In the unpadded section of the bag, I keep my Wasabi battery charger. I love the small size with the foldable plugs. I have a few of these lying around because I buy them in a kit with two batteries included for around 20 bucks. I'll be sure to post a link to this in the description below as well as all the other gear here. And that does it for the contents of my bag. While it isn't the most top of the line camera equipment money can buy, it's what currently works for me and my shooting style. What isn't included here is my monopod of choice. I've been field testing a few of them, so stay tuned for a review on my top pick. I hope this was entertaining and helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.